Let's make a old salad new again. It's really not that difficult. You just have to kind of be a little bit creative. And a lot of times I just use what's in my refrigerator so I don't have to go out and buy new things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a wedge salad. I don't know why this is so popular except that it's so basically delicious. It's so easy. So you're gonna start with the least expensive right now, which is a good thing, lettuce. And this is iceberg lettuce. So let me show you, with iceberg lettuce, it's kind of, the outer leaves just really take a beating when they're sitting in their plastic. So I always take those off and I just set them aside. Now this is my trick, I've taught you this before. You know how you get this core out instead of cutting it? Watch, my mom taught me this. Well, this one's a very bossy one. You just bang it. And then, watch, the core comes out. It's kind of loud. It makes your dog run in here thinking that somebody's injured. Nobody's injured, don't be alarmed. So what I'm gonna do is I just take this and I kind of cut off the end to make it nice and flat. And I take it and take it to the side. It's very simple. So what I do is I cut it down the middle. So depending on the number of people and how big a salad, so sometimes this is Jack and I's dinner. This is what we're gonna have for dinner. If I'm gonna be entertaining more people, I'm not necessarily gonna give everybody a quarter. So I'll cut it. Let's do this one into, um, we're gonna cut six pieces. So what I do is I just put them on a platter like this. And they're gonna be put together like that. It makes a nice little presentation, so you just set them around like that. Now we're gonna add the goody part of this. So when I do this, I add tomatoes, like red onion. I'm not a huge lover of a lot of onion in my salad, so I cut it like paper. I've got some bacon here that I just crisped up. I just literally use my clean hands and put my bacon pieces all over it. And here's our delicious Dilly cream salad dressing. And I'm just gonna drizzle that lightly all over the top. And it's just, it's elegant, it's yummy, but it's so basic. And it's, you know, basic isn't bad, everybody. Basic can be really, really good. Now this is my trick. If I have candied pecans, I'll use candied pecans. Right now, I have candied sunflower seeds and a lot of times when I make this and Katie comes home, she's just like, Mom, this salad just tastes like home. And honestly, I have to admit, this is a pretty delicious homemade salad. Doesn't cost a lot, and it's easy to make. So it's fun to play with all of our original old favorites.